What's happening, Raider Nation? Today, I'm going to be going over Mel Kuypers and Todd McShay's um, A mock draft. So this is basically what they would do. Um, and if the chips fell, in their opinion, in this way, it would be an A draft, a home run for the teams. Um, so I'm going to be going over the Raiders. <clears throat> so... Uh, First off, let's go over some big needs that I've mentioned before. You know, right off the get-go, they need one edge rusher, at least minimum, one secondary member, probably a running back, a tight end somewhere in the draft, um, as well as an interior lineman. Um, off the top of my head, those are all big needs. Um, so let's go into it a little bit. Um, with the first four picks, uh, Kuiper and Todd McShay had it pretty similar. Uh, Mel Kuyper had number one Murray, two Bosa, and then with the difference is he had the Jets going with Allen, therefore leaving Quinn and Williams to the Raiders. And Todd McShay had Quinn and Williams going third to the Jets, leaving Josh Allen to the Raiders. So he took Josh Allen. Um, and then for the rest of the draft, so if you look at Mel Kuyper's, he ended up going with Quinn Williams at four. At 24, Rocky Sin, uh, Temple... Corner, high school wrestling champion, big physical, Juco transfer, 40-inch vertical, uh, can tackle, kind of fits out a Keem Tlaib mold. Uh, so I could see them being interested in someone like that. At 27, he took uh, Irv Smith Jr. Um, I think that's a little high. You know, I think Irv Smith is more of a, you know, probably pick 45 around there type of range. That's where I would value him at. So at 27, that's a little high. For my taste. Uh, and then at 35, he had Josh Jacobs falling to them in the second round. Now, um, and now just after those four picks, you know, the Raiders only have one more pick of value, really, where they could probably find a key starter, especially at edge. That would be maybe at pick 104. I mean, pick 106 in the round four. They don't have a third round pick. So that's a big problem when I look at Mel Kuyper's draft. I mean, Quentin Williams is a beast, and I could no problem taking him at four. The problem is, though, with the Raiders roster, how it's constructed, they need at least one edge uh, contributor, at minimum a contributor, if not a starter um, from this class. And, you know, he has the running back, the tight end, the corner, which is all nice, but no edge rusher. And, you know, you're not going to find one in the fourth round, probably. Maybe Joe Jackson from Miami. Maybe a Zach Allen. I just highly doubt it. Um, Nelson from Iowa. I just don't. You know, edge rushers usually go sooner than, you know, they elevate at least a round usually. So I just don't know if they'd be able to get one at four that would be able to make an impact in the fourth round. So that's just a immediate red flags. I don't know how Mel Kuyper could give himself an A for this mock, uh, knowing the Raiders roster and knowing you need an edge rusher that's going to contribute. And they just passed on one in 24, 27, and 35, you know. So at 20, if I were to change anything, you know, um, at 27, you know, I would either go – you know, Irv Smith's a little high. I love Adderley. I'll take Adderley there. Or maybe, you know, you could go Adderley at 27, Rocky Sin at 24, and at 35, uh, 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 Winovich, excuse me, from Michigan would be around there. Maybe at 35, Jalen Ferguson, uh, Collier. Uh, one of those type of guys might be there. So then if you went like that, that'd be Quinn Williams, Rocky Sin, and that 27, you could go <clears throat> either an interior lineman or Adderley, you know, and then at 35, you could get your edge rusher. That, I think, would be a much better draft because, you know, you, the Raiders are going to need to find a contributor at edge minimum. And in this draft, it's just from Mel Kuyper's point of view, I just don't see it. The other big thing that really stood out to me you know, he had us taking Irv Smith at 27, but he had Green Bay taking Noah Fan at 30. I just don't know anybody that would take Irv Smith over Noah Fan. I just, from a projection standpoint, he's just a way better athlete. Um, 
you know, I see a willingness to block from Fant. Yeah, he's not the greatest, but, you know, he could get better. It's not like a Jared Cook situation where he's just a complete negative. So I just don't really see that. If you're going to take a tight end from his perspective, from at 27, it should have been Noah Fant. So, you know, Mel Kuypers, I just don't agree with it at all. So let's go into Todd McShay's. He has us going Josh Allen at four. So right away, you know, you get that impact edge defender somewhat, you know, knocked off your board and you can have some real fun um, and not worry about having to elevate someone or push someone up the board to fill a need kind of in that late first, early second if you don't have Winovich or Ferguson rated that high. Um, I would take Winovich in that range. I don't know about Ferguson. Collier a little bit later. Probably in like 45, 50, I would take. That's about where uh, Ferguson I would take too. So he has Josh Allen at four. At 24, he has Josh Jacobs. And then DeAndre Baker at 27 and 35, Rockison. Um, I like it a lot. The only issue I kind of have is taking two corners that high. Um, they already have Gary and Conley. Uh, Worley's a proven pro. Uh, they got Nawson from... Uh, Detroit, who's a you know proven player, and they got uh, Nick Nelson still. They're trying to groom at the nickel, and Joiner supposed to be playing slot a little bit. So if I were to change it, you know, take one of the corners, whichever one you want, and then if I was them, I would take like an Adderley, and then you really could have you know a young safety that proven to in your system that made a lot of plays. You um, you know. Was a team captain before the Senior Bowl took place, and then was arguably the best player on the field during the Senior Bowl. So, if you had Josh Allen, Josh Jacobs, you know one of the number one corners, whoever you like, Rockison or Baker, and then Adderley, or you know you could go Winovich, or you could go, you know, someone of that stature. Maybe you could get a tight end, maybe Irv Smith if you really wanted to, maybe Noah Fant in that range. Um, or like a Dalton Reisner, uh, an impact interior lineman would be nice, a little Chris Lindstrom. So, you know, to review it again, you know, Josh Allen, Jacobs, Baker, and Rocky Sin, what he went at. So I would just switch one of those corners with either secondary member, impact lineman, maybe a receiver or a tight end. Um, if, if they did that, um, from that perspective, that little tweak in McShay's, I would be absolutely ecstatic, and I think it would be an A. So reviewing it again, Mill Kuyper, don't really agree with how he addressed with our needs. He didn't get an edge player in any one of our first four picks, so I just have to think that as, as, as a fail. I just think you need an edge player in one of those first four picks. And uh, for Todd McShay, I like it a lot, except maybe instead of the second corner, you either go with an Adderley, or a Winovich, or a Dalton Reisner, or Lindstrom, or like a Noah Fant, maybe a Irv Smith if you really wanted to. Um, so other than that, let me know your thoughts. That was just a little quick review of the A-Mock draft for the Oakland Raiders from uh, Mel Kuyper Jr. and Todd McShay. Thanks.